Hello team and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a look at using the hyperlink function to create clickable hyperlinks that open up an email for you with data such as the recipient, copied manager, subject line, and body pre-filled. This method is great for saving time and it is dynamic so if I drag down the formula you will see that it will adjust for each project member and if a team member or manager changes, the hyperlink will also automatically adjust. Additionally, I will share how to create an email hyperlink for a group of people that you can launch with just one click. Let's jump in and walk through each of these step by step. We're gonna begin by entering the hyperlink function. This function has two arguments that we'll be using, the link location and the friendly name, which is the text we want to display. When creating a hyperlink for an email, we need to add the prefix mail to with a colon wrapped in quotation marks to the front of our function. We'll add the ampersand symbol. And then to ensure this formula is dynamic, we'll use the cell reference for where the email is located. For our first team member, Jim, we'll click cell B2. Now we'll enter a comma, and that brings us to the friendly name argument. Here in quotations, we can add the name we choose. So I'll add email. I'll put a space after the word, closing quotations, another ampersand symbol, and again, because I want this to remain dynamic, I'm going to use the cell reference with the project team member's name, so I'll click cell A2, closing parentheses, and click enter. Now when I click the link to email Jim, the email pops up with Jim already listed as the recipient. And because this formula is dynamic, I can double click the fill handle, and now I have an email link for each individual employee. In this section, we're gonna update the hyperlink so that the manager of each employee is copied on the email. To do so, let's take a look again at the formula. And just to help visually, I'm gonna use Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to create some space and extra lines in this function. To add the line for the manager, we're gonna add another ampersand symbol after the cell reference for the team member email. Then in the next line, we're gonna start with an open quotation and add a question mark. Keep in mind this question mark is vital to ensuring the hyperlink works correctly and populates the email as we want it to. I'll add CC for copying the manager and then an equal symbol, then a close quotation. I'll use the ampersand symbol again and because we want to keep this formula dynamic for the cell reference, I'll click the manager email and cell C2. The friendly name section of our formula will remain the same and I'll click enter. Now when I click the link to email Jim, Jim's name pops up as the recipient, but also the manager is copied on the email. And just like before, I can drag this formula down and it'll be dynamic for each employee. Okay team, now let's take a look at how to add a customized subject line to our email template. We'll double click again to find the formula. And just like before, I'll add some extra spaces so we can visually see our work. Before adding the line for the subject of the email, let's add another ampersand after the cell reference for C2. Then in the line below, we'll open a quotations, add the ampersand symbol, and type out subject. We'll set that equal to project update for, add a space, then a close quotation. To make this dynamic, I'll add the ampersand symbol again and click the cell reference for the employee name, Jim. Now I can click enter, I'll drag the formula down, and let's test with a different name this time. So I'll click on Nancy's hyperlink, and you'll see Nancy listed as the recipient with Nancy's manager copied, and the subject line has been customized with our subject, but also the employee name. Now let's work on adding a body to the text of our email. I've already formatted the formula so we can easily see where we're gonna be adding the line. On the previous line we added for subject, we do need to add an ampersand again after the cell reference. Then in the line below, open quotations and type out and body equals to. I'll write out here is a project update, close quotations, and then click enter. Now, when I test this out by clicking to email Rick, again, you see everything has been populated correctly, including the body of our email that we wanted. Okay team, for this final example, I'm going to show you how to create a clickable email hyperlink so that you can email the entire project team with just a click. We're going to start this formula from scratch by entering the hyperlink function. Like before, we'll start off with mail2. After an ampersand, I'm going to add the text join function. The text join function has three required arguments. 
Starting with the delimiter, we're going to use a semicolon so that the emails will be added correctly in the email tool you are using. I'll add that semicolon in quotations. After a comma, we do want this function to ignore empty cells, so I'll click true. After a final comma, we need to add all the text fields we want to include, which are all of our employee emails, so I can simply click and drag over each one of those. Close parentheses. After adding the ampersand, I'll go to a separate line to help visibility. We'll open the quotations with a question mark, add subject, and set that equal to, hey, project team. After a space, close quotations. I'll enter a comma, and now we can include the friendly name, which I'll say send email to project team. Close quotation again, close parentheses, and click enter. Now I can click this link, and an email opens up that's going to my entire project team with the subject I outlined. Keep in mind that you could copy the managers on this hyperlink template as well, or add a body to the email using the tips we looked at before, if desired. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional items you'd like to see covered.